our guy, Fox's The Mass Singer, season eight, really getting the competition going with three eliminated contestants just revealed. And last night, the Hummingbird was one of the contestants that had to take it off. And this morning, we're going to catch up with NSYNC's Chris Kirkpatrick, who was behind that costume. They clipped your wings, Chris, but I imagine you're still flying high this morning. Yeah, you know, it was kind of a bummer, but at the same time, you know, it, it was it was a great experience and, and I'll take that away from it. You did a fantastic job. And I know that for several seasons, your name had been brought up <laughs> as a guest, but then you had them stomped when you were actually on the show. Uh, what do you make of some of the guesses that were out there? Well, that, that was what I thought was kind of funny because, you know, <laughs> being a fan of the show, you see how many times they guess you or sometimes I'll miss the, the first episode of Mass Singer and my, my messages will blow up. Hey, I know you're this person. I know you're this person. And I uh, never was. And finally, it's me and they think I'm Peyton Manning. <laughs> right. Or Deion Sanders, right? How do we make that make sense? <laughs> so there yeah, is a lot of... I, I don't know. Right. There's a little drama, though, Chris, uh, with your elimination, because many people on the Internet feel like you went too soon. You only got one performance in this new format. Uh, what do you make of that? Well, I mean, that's that's the format that we signed up for. And and uh, I lost to the harp and the harp was absolutely amazing. So I can't take anything away from her. So we'll see. You know, we'll see what happens on the season. I, I think you know, they're going to try something different. And they tried it. It was kind of really neat to be on stage knowing afterwards that that was William Shatner and Eric Idle. And when they were <laughs> chanting, I was like, man, this is the coolest. It really, really is. Did your bandmate Joey give you any tips? I know he was on the show a while back. Joey was on the show, but I wasn't allowed to tell anybody I was doing the show. So he couldn't give me any tips at all. But he knew immediately that it was me and, and text me. All right. I also noticed online that you said that your family actually didn't catch last night's episode because they were in the path of Hurricane Ann. Are they OK? How are they doing? Yep, they're absolutely fine. They just lost power and Internet for a little bit. And then once they got it back up, they watched it and called me and you know, they're, they're, but everybody's okay, you know, thank goodness. That's the good news for sure. All right, it's been 25 years this year since the debut album of NSYNC. Is it time now for a reunion tour? Because we've been waiting, Chris, make it happen. <laughs> yeah, I, I think a lot of people have been waiting. It's it's really one of those things that when when it's time for the five of us to all come together and agree on things, you know, it'll happen. But as it is right now, Everybody's just doing their own kind of thing and, and we're having a good time and not worrying about it. Yeah, you've been hosting tours too uh, all over the country. And I'm curious, I mean, you've always had a great voice. We know that. Have you considered a solo effort maybe in the interim? No, no I, I was never really, you know, kind of a solo singer. You know, I was, I was a voice in the band. I did the harmonies and the high stuff. And that's kind of where, you know, I kind of got my start and that's that's what I did and it's it's a little more difficult for me to step out and do it than it would be for uh, say JC or Justin. Gotcha. Well, before I let you go, we had a uh, new kids on the block. They were in town a couple of uh, weeks ago and I interviewed them and I asked them about the state of the boy band in music and I want to pose the same question for you because I mean in sync is, is iconic. Where are we now in music with that would you say. Um, I, th I think we're all, we've always been in, in a good place. You know, I think when you think of boy bands, you just think of fun pop music. And, you know, there's a lot of that right now. And, and BTS is one of the biggest. And they're absolutely amazing. Then, then you're just coming off One Direction, who was also great, you know, good enough to where each one of them has a solo project that's insane. I mean, Harry Styles has gone on and his new stuff is absolutely amazing. So it, it's it's really cool to see that fun time you know a lot of people kind of look down on it a little bit but all it is is fun pop music all right well thank you so much i mean you're such a huge part of my my teen years and even now uh, the music and we're all here in studio jamming out you should have seen us in the commercial break <laughs> dancing to your music and uh, great awesome. job on the mass singer and, and much success